If you are sick and tired of being stuck on the ground, untangling glider lines after pulling it out of the bag, then you gotta stop showing up to the field like this guy. But thankfully, you've just come across the educational video that's going to help keep this from happening ever again. As it's taught in sixth grade, the best protection is prevention. Pack your wing away correctly, and you're going to enjoy a much more streamlined and easy process of getting in the air with fewer tangles and four letter words. So if this sounds good to you guys so far, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's go get after it. Part of making your job easier with packing your wing away is making sure that the wing bag is laid out properly. The first thing I'll do is I'll make sure that the riser bag is actually upwind. And then I'm gonna put that bag inside out slightly. The next step is properly gathering your wing. The strategy I'm showing you here is known as a rosette where I'm taking the lines up and notice how I'm making these loops a little bit shorter than the risers themselves. This just ensures that the risers are not going to pass through my lines, causing a big knot that I'm gonna to have to sort out later on. So you'll notice that as I'm getting closer to my wing, I'm actually picking up the wing with that right hand as I'm gathering all the lines together. This helps bring the wing tips together, creating the rosette shape that I'm looking for to make this wing packing job that much easier. So now you'll notice that I'm going to cover the riser bag that I placed upwind earlier with the center logo of my glider. Now with my wing placed properly, I'm going to set the loops that I've collected on top of the center logo to keep my wing bag gremlin from tying any knots in those lines while it's being packed away. So now I'm gonna keep my risers separate and you'll see that I'm guiding these risers in between the wing tips. At this point, I'm going to walk back around the wing to the center cells of the leading edge. Here I'm going to collect all the battens, doing my best to keep them all together, using strength and numbers to keep them protected while being packed away in the bag. You really want to avoid missing even just one as these plastic ribs can crease and then stay in a shape that doesn't keep your leading edge as open. Not a big deal if one or two become creased, but three or four will actually start to make a difference in the way your glider inflates especially. So once I get all of my battens collected, I'm going to keep them between my knees and I'm going to clamp them shut so that I can use my hands for the next task. So in an effort to make our wing as small as possible and self-contained, we're going to move from back to front pushing the air out in that direction. So starting at one wingtip, I'm going to grab that trailing edge and start placing it on top of my line loops that are on top of that center logo. Once I have gotten about halfway across the wing, I will come across my risers that I have passed through the wingtips. Now at this point, switch sides and start piling on the trailing edge right on top of the trailing edge from the other side of the wing. Once we have all of our trailing edge in position, we're going to take the rest of the glider and press it on top of that trailing edge. So keep folding that fabric over and over and over until you have packed as much fabric as you possibly can on top of that trailing edge. Now comes the trickiest part of the operation and that is getting all of the battens that are still between your knees, folding them forward and then sideways, pressing them in the same place as everything else. So the lines are on the very bottom. There's no way those guys are escaping. Then we've got the trailing edge on top of that. Then we have the majority of the glider fabric in between the battens and that trailing edge and then a little bit of fabric on top of the battens. So everything is kind of sandwiched nicely together here and at this point I'm going to start pulling my wing bag up and around my wing that is now in the self-contained sort of position. Once I invert my wing bag right side out I'm now going to pass my risers up and over the glider and into the riser bag. So at this point we cinch and buckle things up and we are good to go. There is your aircraft in a bag. At the end of the day, there's many ways to skin a cat. There are many ways to pack your glider away. The main principles are protecting those battens and keeping the glider lines separated and concealed. Our wing does us many favors. It gives us a lot of joy. The least we can do is take a little bit of time and make sure that our wing is packed away properly so that she stays strong and healthy for a lot longer. I sincerely hope this information is valuable to you and helps you prevent a future tangled mess and headache. As always, if you appreciate this content, I would appreciate it if you went over to my Patreon page just to check things 
things out. I've got a few options over there to help monetarily support what I'm doing here. This is my full-time job. This is my passion. I love it. And I would love to put your name up with these guys right here who are currently supporting me. Thank you guys so, so much. But this is it for me for this video. This is Lifted PPG. My name is Micah Stevens. Don't forget to take that deep breath and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.